So I'm out here in my garage enjoying a Nicaraguan cream. And I'm working on my tractor. I was out mowing about two weeks ago and the wheel was kind of, it had been leaning for a while. And I tried bending what I thought was bent back, but really it was just a complete mechanical failure of a piece and the entire wheel ended up falling off. And uh, so my neighbor Tom was gracious enough to let me borrow his tractor for uh, about two mowings worth. I just got the part in and I'm installing it. So right there, that is the culprit. The wheel actually sits right on this thing and it sheared off right up here where it connects to the, the frame that comes out. So it was quite the fiasco. I had a nice big dig in my yard. Um, yeah, and it wasn't very nice. So anyways, I thought I'd just do a little for fun video. I'm out here just relaxing tonight, pretty casual and just fixing this thing. Uh, so if you want to stay tuned and see it, you're more than welcome to. If you want to leave now, <laughs> go ahead. But I'm here enjoying this thing. Uh, if, you, if you haven't had a Nicaraguan cream yet, this stick is really good. It starts off, I mean, they're super cheap. Um, they're a good garage smoke. They start off a uh, big punch in the face. I don't know where they get Nicaraguan cream from. And as you smoke it, it actually gets uh, more subtle and more enjoyable, but it definitely packs a flavor punch, spice, pepper, um, tones of earth that come into. Uh, you'll hear me talk about those three flavor characteristics on many, many cigars. Um, but that is really what I look for in good cigars. Um, I love having that blended uh, taste. I've had other cigars that are all earth or all pepper or all spice. And I really don't care for them. I think all of us are looking for um, different notes that we can pick out, transitions, um, and just really good cigars. And even though this one is cheap, the ash doesn't hold them that long. Uh, I love having these things in the garage. They they last, they burn really well. Uh, as you can see, I've been uh, going on this thing for probably about a half hour, an hour or so. Um, so it'll probably be about a 45 minute cigar. But stay tuned if you want to see the project. Like I said, for me, there's nothing more gratifying than just sitting out in my garage, enjoying a cigar, fixing things myself that I know I could pay somebody else to, but I'm you know, saving some money in the process since I like doing that kind of stuff. I have the patience to figure something out and follow it through to completion. And then it's, for me, it's very satisfying. That's what I get the most gratification out of in life. Um, just taking it easy, doing it slow, and figuring it out and as you can see everything is working I'll let you guys know if it falls off again but I think I did it right so uh, everything is back the way it should be this has been Pete with for Pete's sake have a cigar get outside and enjoy a cigar or wherever you like to do it until next time have a good one guys <laughs>